The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien. Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, you got the Dow up 79, NASDAQ's up 9, S&P's are up 7.5. Gold, we get some action in the metal market out here, folks. So you have gold up 1570, trading at 1181. Silver's up 39 at 1622. Platinum's up 18 at 1006. We have the uh, light sweet crude up 71 cents at $43.93. Bonds. 10-year is down 4, 30-year is down 16, and King Dollar, King Dollar is down 217 ticks at 96.77. We got Fed Day out here. 2 p.m. 2, 2 o'clock. You know, yesterday, of course, uh, it was all about Apple. Um, Apple didn't do anything, folks. Uh, bottom line, came in with uh, decent numbers. Uh, Apple's up $2 right now, trading at 116.75. You know, when, when I look at... Um, what's going on with Apple, Apple needs more than that, you know, because... They must have, right? Yeah. Well, picture that it's not at its highs. We know that um, even when Kevin Hinks was doing the TD Ameritrade uh, show yesterday, the, the largest ownership inside TD Ameritrade, which one of the largest broker deals in the world, is Apple. Okay. So everyone owns it. Like, and, and I was listening to when I was listening to that program. Would you say, say that, what, what do you mean by that, the largest ownership in TD Ameritrade? What, I don't so, know what it, so TD Ameritrade, is there retail clients or there, what do you... What all straight across, retail, institutional, okay. that is the largest stock that's owned um, inside. Okay. It, so okay. it's like, okay, everyone owns it. Sure. So sure. who are you going to sell it to? Sure. You, gonna, you want to buy it off me? Well, yeah, you already own it. Yeah. You know, so that's that's a big, that's, yeah. you know, it yeah. doesn't mean that it's the largest owner in all the other broker dealers, but oh, yeah. that's no. a big heads up in sure. itself. No. You know? I'm sure it's... Now, if, if Apple had accelerated... That would be different, meaning that let's say it was up ten or twenty dollars. That would say, okay, the shot's got to cover Apple. Other people like to buy Apple. It's, it's up, you know. So, sure. but when it's flat, it's like, okay, sure. what's going to happen here? You know. Yeah. So we'll see where that uh, does shake out. Now, the, this morning, folks, um, it's going to get intriguing. Well, let's pu we'll pull up silver first because what has happened is this: is that if we take a look at the silver chart, silver is over its swing point. Um, of an ABC structure, the real key is going to be, uh, will it get the amount of volume it needs, and is it going to hold price? <laughs> because we know uh, at, at 2 o'clock, folks, okay, uh, you know, this, this market's going to get highly volatile. Right now, silver's at 16.24. We need uh, 60,000 contracts, and the way silver's trading... Now it could get it. Silver's only been open since uh, 20 past 8. Let's see, it's uh, 20 past 10. It's been open for two hours. has four more hours to go. And we've done 28,000 contracts. You know, so it needs another 30,000 contracts. But it can do it, you know. And we'll see yeah. what, what it holds. And if it, if, if it does hold price, then that game is going to be on the uh, May uh, 17th uh, swing high. You know. And where is that? If we, we have to pull this back just a little bit more. I just don't know what the May 17th yeah, swing no, high is. Yeah, no, Pull that back okay, over there, there and then we're dealing with uh, so the shy of eighteen dollars. Yeah, seventeen uh seventeen eighty five. Okay. You know? And of course, uh that that's gonna sh that's gonna actually be the about the third or fourth big sign of strength that we've had uh, off that bottom. Yeah. The thing that's gonna be so intriguing, man, is like, okay, so let, let's picture the the way that the market looks out here. When I say the market, I would say that bonds continue to say that the Fed's not going to go up because, I mean, the bond market's huge and money is talking there like if you and I are running large funds, it's like, yeah. okay, they're buying billions of dollars right. at the bond. So right. the, the bond market is saying, hey, you're not going up in short-term yeah. rates. Now, the real question is, is that free money has definitely driven this market higher. So does that mean if free money comes out that the market's going to go to the moon? We're going to find out. It's we'll my, if the Fed stays. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's really tough to tell. I know. It is yeah. because 
in this statement, is this statement going to be the things that are slowing down? You know? And are they still committed? Weren't they still committed during the last meeting to raising it sometime oh, this year? Big time. So, well, when, so if they don't raise it, what are they going to say will probably yeah. matter a lot. Right. Yeah. And how many times are you going to call a wolf, right? Yeah. You know? Right. No, I know. Now that's that, that's that, why. What do they say? It's not even like, okay, they don't raise it, but where, why, why? Right. Now, that's the first part. Now, watch the second part. The second part's scary. The second part would be that out of nowhere, well, it wouldn't be out of nowhere, but they raise it and say, oh, well, things are great. We're going to start. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would throw, that would be like, uh, if, if that happened, folks, you'd see the dollar go to the moon, gold would get smoked in about two seconds. It's so crazy, too, because we're talking about that if they raise rates from 0% when the markets are, like, approaching all-time highs, it would be a staggering shock. I know. I know. <laughs> so I know. That's right. why it's really tough to gauge how the market will perceive anything, because part of it is that they're worried that they're not going to raise it, and is that going to have everything maybe tumbling when they do, right? Or yeah, when they give the guidance that, that I, they do? I think or? they're worried about that. I, I think they've, they've... It's gotten to a weird point. It's gotten to a weird point. I, I think that uh, the... the it didn't start off. It started off to get the market higher. They got the market higher. Now they're worrying about a lot of different things. And right. now, now their biggest worry is that they pull the trigger, and as they pull the trigger, the asset values go down. Right. You know, because you know, it's a, when I look at you know uh, some of these equities. You know, as I said in the 10 a.m. update, I think underlying this market we have some real problems. I mean, Akamai Technologies is down 25 percent. In one day, um, yeah. Idex Labs is down 14 percent. Intercept Pharmaceuticals down 12. It's like, you know, we have had equities go up like that. Google and Amazon went to the moon, no doubt, but not a lot more. It would be know? interesting to dig into the Akamai numbers because they're just such a big streaming, and they should be doing really well unless you know Amazon could be crushing their business. I'm sure streaming's doing just fine, but why are they in that this business is, and they're? down that right. Right. So this they should is, be growing. I heard the CEO on this morning. These, they're still growing at 60%. Okay. Okay, but the, the market so, wants them growing faster. Yeah. The stock so yeah. what what he said... In fairness, this, too, that industry is growing faster than 60%. It, so, you know... It didn't, no, yeah. totally. So this is where he was going. Well, actually, let, let's let's pull up the chart. So because... Because we've talked to them about, you we, know, our streaming. We're, so we're, the, we're, the we're industry's exploding. We're, we're in talk with them right now, yeah, folks. Video okay. on what, line. It's like, exactly. And, and what it is, let's see, AK. A -A Maybe, you know, Facebook has their own video. That's Everything. right. You don't need. That's right. What, Facebook anyway. has live streaming. You have telescope. You know. Um. I guess I, I got to pull this one up just for a second. Okay. okay. So if we pull this over here, and because what the, what the CEO said, that's what I want to see. He says this is how the, they were asking him about the stock this morning because they could see that it was going to trade down dramatically. Sure. I bet so, they could. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he says, well, that's how it likes to trade. Well, you can see, this stock went that's, from $20 I mean, I don't know to how 70 That's mm -hmm. how it likes to trade when it opens down. No, I know. Well, see, there's 39 there. Yeah. So 39 in 2012, it goes down to 28, goes up to 41, comes back to 28. Well, it's I, don't, volatile. I don't see a single down day like that. Not like this. Not, this. not like anything. All the big days are up. I mean, yeah. There's, there's but, maybe one. That, no, exactly. December 2012 yeah. or something. So they got smacked. This is, you wake up in the morning and uh, you're back to February 2014. Yeah. So what he said was that the, uh, the stream itself, not Akamai in general, just the amount of streaming, that that is an uneven route, but it's always continuing to go up. And so that's what he was blaming on that... He, their guidance, they couldn't see how much more acceleration was going to be on the next couple quarters. That, okay. that, was, that was the wrap, okay? Now, what happens with that, what he was also explaining is that the more that the, uh, they, they, they were streaming, um, their, Yahoo is their uh, okay. client, so is an Apple. Okay. And what he was talking about was that um, they did stream the, the Yahoo deal and that if you want better quality video that's what their business is and the, the question of course is that what you just said is that okay well facebook are they going to build their own deal out i don't know if they might already have They're it. all about video I mean, it, that's they are. It, yeah. exactly exactly and will they sub that out to akamai are a folks going to be building their own you know facebook's a different deal but amazon has their 
Prime. You know, they're, they're all huge. about video already. Right. Their server deal. So right. Amazon's not got going to cut Akamai into that and right. they want to take over the server business which is the memory which is the cloud with, you know yeah um, and then Facebook I don't think they want that they they want to they know videos everything why would you want a huge player in the middle of you and that's and right supplying video no, I can't see that being no there's no doubt I mean there's even stories just so when you upload a video directly to Facebook yes as opposed to sharing videos from other whether it's like a YouTube video okay you uploaded that they're they should, they have preferential where that video to Facebook is getting shown X amount of times more often. And this was an article like a couple is months it? ago. And so, but it would make sense that you want that video displayed because um, it's your video your with content. your content yeah. and people upload it directly to Facebook as opposed to sharing a YouTube video. Um, so you can yeah. see how you know they're not going to be sharing video sure. delivery on the web. That's almost their probably number one. Uh, that would be yeah, my number one oh, goal no, no. Is they, not they, sharing. You know your video delivery or your network or right. your ads or anything because right. that's no the that's your revenue video yeah. yeah that's the revenue now let's go look at the uh, so inside the ndx this morning folks okay this is pretty intense so the 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 winners all right the ndx is down the winners the skyworks is up two dollars that's an apple supplier uh green mountain that's up 126 that's a dead cat bounce uh avco is a Apple supply, it's up 290, but both of those have got killed. I was just going to say, were those the stocks that were down like enormous yesterday? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they've been down quite a bit. If we take a look at Skyworks, you know, yeah, I mean, you're talking about a, a dead cat. You're talking about a stock that went from 112 uh, down to 75, okay. you know. And that's always cool to understand that. Stay right there, folks. Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, we're coming right back. Look at. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. You know what's cool? 
taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We We take take it it every every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 66. You get the NASDAQ up 5. S&P's up 6.5. Uh, gold and silver are moving, folks. Uh, you know, silver has taken out the swing point uh, with conviction. Uh, gold is just approaching it. We're up 1650 right now, 1182. Let's go over and take a look at this. So, the yeah, gold has quite a way to go. Actually, the swing in gold is 1191. I can't picture another 10 points, and then uh, taking that out. Not today, anyway. You know. Uh, it has the G. Hey, listen, <laughs> we'll see where this shakes out. Uh, what about the Fed? I mean, no, the, the Fed, because you can see if we do an intraday chart, folks, um, there's a buyer. You know, there could be more than one buyer, but that's a big what buyer. What time was that big bar? That big bar is at 940. It was 10,000 contracts. Then 10,000 contracts is what? That's 12% of what they've done today. Okay. You yeah. know, so there's someone in there that is has has some juice uh, under under that market. It's interesting, the day of the Fed, too. Yeah, it, it, it definitely is. It, 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 there's no doubt. It's like, okay, um, you know, and the dollar hasn't croaked, you know, so this is, this is going to be so intriguing to see, you know, where this whole thing's going to shake out. I think one of the, um, not a shocker, but uh, inside the market today, you can see that Apple's still up and the NDX is down uh, 13 points. Yeah. That's showing that Underneath this market, there's uh, some real problems. You know, Larry always talks about the NYSE yeah. and how much trouble that's in. And that's oh. really cool to take a look at that it, nobody really talks about. It, it's huge, yeah. man. Because what happens, folks, is that um, that this is the composite. And the composite's trading at 10,476. Well, the composite's way off its highs. Yeah. The composite high is 11,254. Yeah, you know, it's you, almost ten percent. Yeah, and and inside the composite, that is the health of the market. You know, yeah, inside, right. you know, right here. So normally it used to tell me how many because inside the composite, what you have, folks, like is that two thousand twenty four hundred. How many? Yeah, is that many. No, it, oh, it is. And normally I used to get it right here. Let me see. Members, look at the zero zero. Great. So much for Bloomberg. I'm sure we'll figure it out soon. I'll pull it up um, and break. If, but what, what it is is that it's all the equities, it's all the bond funds, it's yeah. all the REITs. Right. Um, you know, and, and that is the health of the marketplace. Just everything. Everything. Yeah. And that health of the marketplace is saying right now that we're still 10% off the highs. Yeah. You know. It's a shame that when they cover like the nightly news and they give you, you know, that quick breakdown of the Dow closed and NASDAQ closed, they never talk about They the, don't. The, NYSE composite. No. <laughs> well, you know, you know what blows. It's interesting. You know, how does the Dow get highlighted? It, well, you know, you know stocks. You know? I, what blows my mind is this, and this has happened as far as I've read back in history. Because if you read, you know, um, uh, remnants of a stock operator, which is Jesse Livermore in the 20s and the 30s, 1920s sure. and 1930s, right? It always seems like the pump is always on to pump the market up, right? Yeah. And. But it would seem like in history we learn everything else. Why don't people learn this? That the, the, the pump is to pump the market up. Why do people play the lottery? You know, why do they yeah. always want to be positive right. and right? Optimism is for and, sure. And everyone's just hoping they can get out on time all the time, right? It's interesting because I say that, and it's like, well, sell fears. Fear sells 24-7, too. So. Yeah, it does. No, it does. It does. One or the other, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is, it is <laughs> no. one or the other. There's no, there's no In terms of pumping, it's definitely one or the other. But. Right. 
So let's go over and take a look at Apple for a second because what we have with Apple, I mean, it, it, people are going to look at Apple and say, okay, you know, Apple today, the high is 117.95. Uh, we're at 116.41. You know, we're under the, the highs of yesterday right now. So it's really going to be intriguing and say, okay, are they going to, you know, Apple is going to, is Apple going to flatten out? Um, you know. Yeah, I mean, we're $2 off the high of the day. Yeah, which not is not a huge amount, but for what my perception is of Apple, you know, it's like, Okay, that's not enough for the marketplace. Yeah, no. You know, if it's not going up, it's going down. Yeah, right? that's exactly. Your, exactly. The acceleration right now that could be true. I mean, you know, if they just came out with their numbers. They came out with their guidance. That's you it's don't a have, big moment. It's right. a big moment. You don't have to worry about uh, the pump until probably after Thanksgiving, right, Black exactly. Friday. It's that you know how yeah. many how many you know iPhones are going to get sold on Black Friday, right? Yeah. You know, it's interesting. Do you see um, it's the REI? They came out that they're going to close on Black Friday, not I, even Thanksgiving. Now, Thanksgiving's the talk about in terms of, you know, right. some people close on Thanksgiving, some people don't. Um, they're actually coming out and they're closing the day after Thanksgiving as well, which is which remarkable. Is, I mean, it's interesting. Is, no, you know, I, I have a friend that works for them. I mean, you know, it's not, a staggering deal the day after. And, and, but, you know, maybe maybe they're, look at all the press they're getting. We're sitting here talking about it, number one. I, you know so what, there's, started, there's things to be now, rewarded. And, what do they, they sell sports equipment? What do they do? Yeah, it's like an outdoor camping um, right. type, outdoor you know, camping, clothing. Now that would make sense too, right? Because then that's a quality of life issue. Yeah, and you're, you definitely have a younger demographic in terms yeah. of the. No, I, I think it's great. I yeah. mean, I, I, it's just I think, interesting. I think you know, we all need time off. It's interesting drilling down the numbers. That Black Friday, in terms of in stores, I think you know they can still sell stuff online. So it, it, they're smart and they that's know it's, right. That's where it's going. Why not get ahead of the trend? No doubt. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Dow's uh, up 64, Nasdaq's up eight, S and P's up six and a half. We're gonna be right back. If you're looking for a great opportunity to diversify your financial portfolio and hedge against the falling stock market, consider the new Market Safe Metals Hedge CD from EverBank. This five year indexed US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to metals with gold and silver components and allows you to hedge against falling equities with a short component on the SPY ETF. You can earn up to 45% capped upside payment at maturity if gold and silver increase in value and the SPY ETF decreases across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on the CD. Don't let fallen markets get you down. Get the Metals Hedge CD. The November 12th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up-to-the-second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, Tom and Tommy O'Brien, we appreciate your growl and a prowl with us there. Uh, uh, at TFNN. And don't forget, folks, right on your cell phone, if you happen to be listening in your car on the West Coast right now, you can get us 24 hours a day right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi. You can get live programming um, right now from, uh, excuse me, from 9 o'clock in the morning uh, to 5, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 to 6, Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, I'm there, Mr. John Logan. We expect him back uh, hopefully in the next uh, week, week and a half. And then Monday, Monday, Monday. So Monday, folks. I'm in. Mr. John Logan's coming back. We and it's just an awesome thing. He's raring ready to go. He is, and that's gonna. So then you got eight o'clock in the morning. Um, Tom and I were talking about uh, Akamai. So uh, what do we have here? Yeah. So where even is this article? We found it on Bloomberg. So it's at Investors.com. But they're talking about how it's exactly what we're talking about. That Apple came out and said they're shifting their content delivery network to more internal and using Akamai less now. Apple is Akamai's biggest customer. And it's wow. just like that. I mean, how much cash do they have on hand? $200 billion, And yeah. you're paying a third party for content Two. delivery? That's something that I'm pretty sure Apple can internalize yeah. and not be paying a third party to... And no, I, I believe they have 200 and either $207 billion or $228 yeah. billion in their pocket. Can you and you're in that business and you're paying somebody else to deliver your music downloads. As we're I mean, right. something that simple, you know, that... Of right. course, as they're building it out, I'm sure Oof. they didn't mind using a third party. But two hundred six no billion. Reason. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. That's, yeah. Well, maybe we better call them back and see if what we'll kind of deal it was. I think the deal was pretty good, actually. We 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 haven't. It was no, it was priced right. It was. Yeah. They're fair, right. You know, but same that we don't matter when they're about to lose Apple. And, and they control no. the content delivery for Apple. No. I'm pretty sure that's going to affect their stock oh, price. Well, and, and, and of course, what ends up happening is that um, we don't know whether, do they have Facebook or not? You know, uh, uh, what are the other big clients out there? Right. You and if they mean? do, why, why aren't they going to shift to their own content delivery network the yeah. same way? They will. Yeah. They will. Maybe you and Dave can talk about that on Friday in the tech hour. Yeah. Billion here, billion there. No doubt. Wow. That's pretty intense, man. So uh, over in Europe, it's, uh, you know, the, uh, what has happened in Europe, this is going to be intriguing to see where this shakes out. So uh, Europe closes now at 1230. It used to be 1130, but it's 1230 now, Eastern time, that is. And Europe, uh, the DAX, I mean, the UK is holding up. That's up 49 bucks. The DAX is uh, up 81. That's nothing heavy there. Um, the, the, the whole kicker here, no doubt I expect, is going to be about this Fed. Uh, it's the the spies. Let's see if the spies have tested yet, because what we will get, folks, is this. Yeah, we're the spy. We're at uh, we're up 92 cents. The high there is what 207.95. Uh, is that 207.95? Yeah, 207.95. Yeah. We've hit 207.57. We're kind of at it right now. Uh, but they'll 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 be volume at two o'clock. Yeah, and it just a matter. They'll of, probably hang out within 
right around this range until two o'clock. It will. Yeah. No, it will. It, it wouldn't it, make sense. I, Somebody I, would do anything drastic I, before that type of news. Not unless uh, someone uh, from the Fed. Uh, yeah. Basically, one of these large broker deals got the got the numbers. Something. You or know? somebody makes an out of control statement prior or something. Or exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, can you imagine? You know what has happened, which I'm sure that just all these uh, spiders that are, that that keep going out to these news sources, they always make mistakes. Not all the time, but it's amazing how many times these press releases come out yeah. that have been laying out there, and all yeah. of a sudden a spider picks it up, and it's like, oh my yeah. God, you right. gotta be kidding me, man. Yeah, you know? it's a race to get it all out there. So it is a race. For sure. Now, let's go over to IBM. So, what I didn't realize when I was on the air yesterday with IBM, I, IBM right now, this is the second time that it broke lows with volume. And, you know, yesterday I had said, uh, well, geez, it was a shocker that, uh, IBM was getting investigated by the SEC again. What I didn't know is that they got investigated last year by the SEC for the exact same thing. What are they getting investigated? And this is what it's about. IBM is going from a service company, no, from a hardware company to a service company. So the recognition of revenue okay. goes like this. Let's say that you're doing business with me. I have a contract with you, and let's say it's just a million dollars. Um, let's say it's 1.2 million for the year, okay? So that'd be $100,000 a month for that year. What happens is that on a hardware contract, I could take that revenue immediately. On a service contract, I can only take $100,000 per okay. month. You need to perform that service for a it to exactly. be gained. Exactly, for, or what, for yeah. that to be gained. Um, and that's what they, they, they investigated them last year and there was no finding last year. But it's the exact same type of deal yeah. that there's, they haven't said anything yet, but that's what they're investigating is, yeah. as does have, has some of that income got pushed sure. into... Are you playing, playing games? Are you your playing books? games? Yeah. Are you playing games? I'm sure with, they have enough accountants and lawyers that they're covered somehow, and I mean, it's just that, you know, I don't... I'm speaking real broadly, but no, no, no. no. That, so that's have somebody that, that says, that's, don't worry, you're good, well, you know, that, that, we, can, we can rationalize this, that's, and that's even if we hope. don't... That's what they hope. Pay a fine and we'll be fine. Well, you, you know, yeah, no, no, totally. you, know, you know what's amazing to me? What's amazing, folks, is is that this is the stuff that they teach in business school. I mean, that's why people Revenue go go to Harvard. Yeah, that's right. why they go to MIT. Yeah. Financial that's why engineering. IBM, that's why they have, you know, yeah. exactly. There's, IBM accountants, you know, lawyers. There's, there's, there's no doubt. The, the fight, the fight is on between accountants as what yeah. is is and all that has to happen is you just have to have a you have to you have to play that line perfectly you and, do. and not if you're going to cross it you, you can't cross it by too far and that you have to be able to rationalize that you didn't cross it that, and exactly. you didn't intend to cross it right and i'm sure that they will be able to and then claim that. and then if you don't then you have to have someone's head down the down yeah, the down the line pay a fine and, you know, no, no, I, 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 but, but you know, they pay a fine. I don't they, think you have to have somebody's head down the line. Well, just they, so but that's they not, always do chop someone's head off. Well, what yeah. do you consider chopping their head off? Firing them. Yeah, maybe sometimes yeah. they get fired. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the, well, the, you know, we'll, we'll see where it's say. But the IBM, you know, the no, bar If you can put it to what I... Yeah, I was in... I mean, it's it's a rough chart. I was... Yeah. When I looked at it, I was thinking of our man Bud Rolfs with, I mean, look at that channel, right? I know. I'm not even going to draw the lines. It's so easy to see. It is. On the bottom, on the top, you know? Yep. Huge. Yeah. And then if we make it bigger, I, we were talking about folks, our Channel King uh, Bud Rolfs, uh, and these channels. Look, yeah, I look mean, at, it's like. I mean, once this broke, watch this one. So it, it was so cool about... Um, Yep. IBM, it has so many different Look at ones. Those, yeah, on if the way up, it's perfect. We, we can take we can take that channel that way. Yep. It broke. We can take the channel. Oops, close that one. We can take the channel on a diagonal basis, and it broke. <laughs> And it broke with vol. The, see yeah. this. This is if you look, if you want to really just understand channels, go go look at IBM because the the mind blow of it is that what the theory is is that first you break down right, then you go back up and test the underling of it. Sure. It's like how the heck did it do that? It went from 106 all the way back up to like 220 over the course of uh, is this a weekly? Yeah, it's, that took a, a year and a half or something to go back up. Gave it up again, and then that's all she wrote. Yeah. You know, and if you take a look at IBM, folks, the longer that that top does hang up there with light volume, when that markdown starts, that's when it gets vicious. Sure. 
it's like, how the heck does that work, right? They can hang something up, right? Yeah. And little by little, you know, the funds keep getting out of it yeah. and out of it well, and out of it. If you look at this on the long term, I mean, it could be in big trouble, right? Yeah, it looks to me like it's going on buck ten. Same thing. You know? Oh, I don't have the right tool. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, yeah. that's that's a big number though. Yeah. yeah. If if we take just from just from that breakdown there, yeah, that's that was 180. that's one eighty, and then the top is two fifteen. Yeah. So that's thirty five bucks right off the bat, off yeah. one eighty, and that's what we are, right? They have one eighty. We're at one forty. Right. No, no, but, but if you subtract thirty five dollars from oh, the one eighty, yeah, that's that's your right. first price projection. Yeah. And it's like we're well, there we're there we're right. there in a heartbeat, right? Let's go to, uh, let's see what we got. Lou. Hey, Lou, what's going on, man? Hey, still doing leaves. You're still <laughs> doing leaves? Oh, my God. Yeah, I got a, a big lot here. Perfect. I guess you do. <laughs> uh, I'm in Nugget, and this thing is like, really sprung up time. I'm just wondering if I should take, take it off the table. Okay, so you got N-U-G-T. Uh, and that this is NUGT it's big folks. Big gold today. It's yeah. huge, uh, and NUGT folks is the 300 uh, uh, leverage shares of the ARCA index, which is the HUI. That's the Gold Bugs Index. Okay, they, it's amazing. So they call it the because New York Stock Exchange owns it now. Sure. Okay, um, and you know, bottom line is if we go over, and let me just go to the HUI just for a second, so I can take a look at this. So. The, the danger is that, you know, at, at 2 o'clock, folks, we, we got uh, some, uh, you know, action and it goes down. Uh, that's the one side of it. The other side of it is that uh, at 2 o'clock, they don't go up on the rates. And the way these are trading right now, it's saying that it wants to go to a higher price. <sighs> okay, so now the key is what to do, you know. And this is where, this is where a problem comes in, folks, on Fed Day because... You can say that, okay, put a stop in, and of course stops are great. Well, guess what? On Fed Day, this thing can go up and down three points in a heartbeat yeah. both ways. So, um, okay, so now the question is, let's cut to the chase. And it's up almost 15% like today, so right. that's worth right. considering. It is. No, it is. And, and what you can do is this. Like in the gold report yesterday, I took off two positions, you know, one we a small loss because I didn't like how I was trading. The other was a yeah. gain because, you know, we had six more positions. I wasn't going to leave out eight yeah. positions coming into uh, this Fed deal. Do you know, you know what I mean, Lou? Yes, I do. So the other way to look at it is that... And how big is the position maybe? How much risk do you want? Because yeah. you're going into a Fed announcement. So if you're just going to keep the position, I just think you have to be at least prepared for... You know, you could, you could pull back all those gains. So are you prepared to lose that? You know, if you are and you're really bullish, then maybe that's cool. I'll but take I half. agree that, you know, you just have to be prepared for it at two o'clock, right? Or take some off. I'll because, take half the position off. Yeah, you can't just like put in a stop because it could all be gone in, in a minute. Right, um, yeah. Right. Right. So I, I think I'll take my profit. It's a big day, 15%. That's, yeah. Oh, know, no, especially they're, for they're, a day like this on a triple, there's no doubt. that's a nice trade. Now, man. okay, so if you take your profit, now this is what I would do. You take your profit, this is how I'd set this up. So check this out. This is pretty cool how this is going to work. You take the profit, and this is where you get a clean head too, folks, okay? So he got his money back in his pocket. Now, the ultimate would be that for you that you just took your profit would be that they come out with the announcement, right? And if we take a look at a 10-minute chart, we're at 48.77. Well, at 44.30, yesterday, that's where that start pushing with volume on the way up. What I would do there, Lou, is this, is that if you're in front of a machine at two, you just wait for a few minutes, right? If you get a pullback and it pulls back there with light volume, that would be the buy again. Sure. You know, that, right. now, if it pulls back with too much volume, don't even think about it. But See, right. we gapped higher out here this morning at that. Sure. It's like, okay, man, you know, you just got five points. You just sit there and wait. You get it again. That, you know, that that would be one side of it. The other side, of course, is that it just takes off and goes top side. It could. It could blow. It could be up another six points after it, two o'clock. So. But that's all right. You still get your money, Oh, right? no, it's great. Yeah. Totally. I know. So. Depending on how many shares you have, too, maybe you just let 10% of your position ride or something like that, um, whatever you're comfortable with. But it's a risky right. position at two o'clock. Right, sure it is. 
And you got okay. you still got you still got some time yeah. too. You, you know, see how it trades? Be, because another way to uh, I couldn't see it tanking before two o'clock. No, that would be no. really tough. And because what also happens is that this is what I do a lot. I you know what's so cool about the gold and silver market is that you can go to three or four different equities and see how they're trading. And so like if I go to Wrangell, right? So the the B point on Wrangell. Um, is 7096. Now we've done 356,000 shares, but it needs a million. Now that would be saying, let's see, 1030, let's see, two hours, 150, six hours. That's going to be close. You know, if the volume expanded uh, on this and, and it was going to be an ABC up, that gives you the probability higher that your NUGT is going because this is one of the largest weightings inside the NUGT, okay? Yep. Then right. you can go over to an Eco Eagle, see how that's trading. I see an, an Eco Eagle right now has 800,000, well, which is good too, man. You're going into uh, 5 million. Well, 5 million is not great. So that's, that's going up in a little lighter volume. Um, Gold Corp, which has been weak. Would these stocks be lower volume on a day like today with so much movement? Maybe they're maybe they're just waiting for the Fed themselves. Even with the movement in gold, kind of it's still no. Calm. They they will. And they, they, they're, they're, I'm surprised by the move up. You oh, know, that? I mean, I wouldn't be making any big trades unless I was making a positional trade on you know gold itself for the long term. You could. No, it's a great point, man. There, 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 there's going to be a lot more volume after yeah. this. And right now. It doesn't matter what you're looking at except the NASDAQ. Everything is green. <laughs> I mean, look yeah. at this thing. Yeah. This, this, the NASDAQ's it, green, too. They, no, it is. Right? But the NDX is up by half a point. Yeah, no, I'm saying. You know I mean, that I mean? was down 13 the, when it we was, started it the was show. It was down 13, so you know. know. So, hey, take some, take some money. Yeah, that's uh, a 15% on one day ahead of the Fed. That's, that's something you that's don't, a, don't allow the market to take that back. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That way you, you'll can go hire one of these kids yeah. out of the street to do your leaves too. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, probably having too much fun, man. Yeah, a ball. <laughs> I love it. Hey, man, have a great one. Thanks. Have a safe one, Lou. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. Thanks for your help. I okay, man. You stay right there, folks. So we get Fed Day happening two o'clock. We get a lot of good programming coming up. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We want to hear from you. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine. Two seven six six four eight. We're coming right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. And don't forget, folks, uh, right here at TFNN, we got a uh, nice day planned out here. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be coming up next. Uh, then we're, it's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Basil Chapman's coming yep. up next. Then we'll get uh, Steve Rowe, uh, uh, Daryl Martin at noon, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Uh, I'll be back this afternoon. Um, you know, when you're talking with your friends, right? You know, we've talked about this before with you and I, even on the air. This low rate, you guys have never seen a higher interest rate structure. So do well, you guys talk about that at all? Or? Uh, not really. I just right. think it's kind of just not that it's accepted, but in my mentality it is, especially because, you know, it, when you reach the point that you care about where interest rates are, when, yes. and that's not when you're like 18, 19, you no. know, it's when you're like 25, 30, yes. 35, that right. you're buying houses and cars. Right. Um, yeah. It's, I mean, that's my entire life for sure. Right. The, the interest would seem remarkable. You know, the other side of that is I haven't seen an economy like that either. So. It wouldn't seem so remarkable paying that interest if the economy was rocking at the same rate. Yeah, which or is cool. larger. Right, right exactly. Right. Which, you know. What does happen there, though, which is always scary, is that you still have to be ahead of the economy, which is a tough, tough one. Sure. Do you know what I'm right. saying? Because if you're not ahead of the economy, yeah. then you're in trouble. I, I had just said the housing market should be going up if you're paying for that. You know, so yes. there's, there's, no, no, there's no doubt, no doubt. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be, in this environment. You couldn't pay 10 percent. No. There's, there's, there's no yeah. way. There's, well, on the rent structure, you could, depending what cities you're in. On the rent, on the rent structure, you could. There's always opportunities, but speaking yeah. on a broad basis of people in my generation buying a, a, a house, you know, yeah, at these that, prices, yeah, exactly. With that well, you know, it's always in, it, it, what, where I think, folks, that is always a problem is that when you take, you know, whether that number is one or ten, the higher the number that you get, when a percentage of that is such a big number, like right. when. I bought my first house at 14,000, so big, big deal. 14% 14 on 14,000, you know, is small money compared to 5% on 200,000. Yeah, but what does that 200,000 buy you? So it's all in. It is, except that when I even look at the, the structure, you know, outside of being in the service, the pay was nothing, but outside of that, you know, you're still making like 15 or 20,000 a year and you could be making five times that amount, and the houses are more than five times yeah. that amount. Yeah. That's, you know right. what I mean? Right. So in that, and it, you were in an environment in that time where 
It was very undeveloped. Oh, no, you no, know, no, so no for sure. I mean, for sure. But even, Melt, even Melton, the first house of Melton was only 40 grand. Yeah, no, I mean, you know what I mean? Different That's... Times. But you're going back, I mean, what year are we talking? This is not. Well, I'm a young chicken. I what are you talking you. about? You know, Didn't you hear what he said, about... talk, folks? He's telling I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back 30 God. years, you know? 30 years. 30 years. I'm going back more than 30 years, man. I'm going to Melton. Yeah, Melton. Melton's 30 years. Oh, man, I'm telling you. So, folks, as you get prepared for this day out here today, two o'clock is going to be the number. And uh, thus far, gold and silver is holding. Let's go over to that dollar because it looks like the dollar is fading just a bit. And what we haven't got yet, oh, there is, no, it's, <laughs> it, it's pulled back, but you don't have that volume on that pullback. You know, you get a slight volume. But the volume will be light for everything until two. It will. But yeah. the, way, the way that dollar is trading right now, it looks like the dollar can go to 96.47. Yeah. And you get if you get 96.47 and you get volume on that move that is saying that gold silver will you know basically do this abc structure on yeah. the way up dollar won't be able to handle it and the real key is going to be then okay what does the market do you know thus far the the dow's up uh 100 s and p's are up 26 ndx is having the problem and ND, the ndx has been the leader on the way up so um, small caps are getting a bid but that's because of the uh, everything's getting a bid right now yeah, everything is getting a bid Thanks for being here, folks. Uh, they're looking, they're, yeah, they're saying I, I go know. back to 1862. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Okay. Hey, folks, you stay right there. Have a great whatever, safe one. Tommy and I thank you for being here. Growl and cry with us. You wait right there. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be coming up next with you. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.